Hi everybody, welcome. Grab your coffee, your booze, your tea, your water, whatever you drink, and meet me back here in a minute. This is going to be a good one. Yep, they got me going. See you in a second. Have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. Hi. <laughs> yes, sir, the girl is sparked today. Before we get started, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when I upload. Okay, without further ado. So, how many of you heard about the scam mad? He don't even get to qualify as a glam mad. You know the one we're talking about. The one that sold the bad rig to that little old couple and then laughed about it on a video on YouTube. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. That's who we're talking about today. And even though I can't say his name on video or they'll take away my pennies for the commercials, we're going to talk about this guy today. Do you know that I am so appalled that, one, he would even think that a channel like PBS would consider putting his foul person on their documentary? When and how does this man represent the nomadic community? He's not a real nomad. Hello, PBS. I'm just saying. So before I get into what I have to say about this subject, please know that under this video and in the first comment, I'm going to pin a link just so you guys can see some of the vulgar, hateful, anti-woman that this person really is. But before I do that, let me talk about a video I just viewed that came across my home page because you guys know I don't watch this trash about him parking next to a real nomad and leaving over a 30 pack of beer cans in the middle of the desert and not to mention his bag of trash. <laughs> the guy also vided him, videoed him blasting his music all night long in the middle of nowhere. Now you guys, as a nomad, as somebody who's a true nomad, you go to the middle of nowhere for peace and quiet. You could rent an apartment like I've had to and have an idiot next door that blasts their music at all hours of night thinking that they're the only one who has a right to peace and quiet. Wake them up in the morning and see what kind of foul they are. But they can keep you up all night long partying and drinking and being rude and crude and acting like teenagers. Just saying. But you have no rights as a law-abiding citizen. How about all these people that were camped around this idiot that night when he decided to drink his way into 2 and 3 a.m. blasting music where nobody got any sleep that night? And then the audacity, the audacity to pull out and leave 30 empty beer cans sitting in the desert along with a bag of trash? This guy is no representation of even a glam man let alone a nomad, more like a scam mad. Now, as you watch the video that I'm going to share below, <laughs> know that this, this video is not really being cut and edited at all. This person has taken true, true clips from this man's channel and pieced them together. Not only, not only that, this guy is a six-time felon. Two of them are domestic violence toward females. One is a domestic violence toward a male, right? Oh, but you know what? He stands with a group of men who claims that women are nothing more than a wet hole. Yes, ladies, he said it. Do go view that video. You know, guys, I don't often promote other videos, but I have to give it to the person whose video you're going to go watch because you know what? This guy does his research. He does research so well. He goes back on criminal records, <laughs> name chasers, and everything. And with that being said, each and every one of you out there who represents humanity, 
and I'm not even talking the nomadic life. I'm talking humanity. He needs to contact PBS and say, you put him on there, I'll never watch you again. This guy is the utmost smut of the earth. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't even hear anything about it until I already seen that PBS found out about him and said, oh, we're not putting him on there. Just saying. And then I do have one viewer who thinks maybe it's the cat that they're after, Mr. Jax. More than likely, that cat's got more class than his owner. Just saying. So, you guys, my rant today is the audacity of this punk. Yeah, I called you a punk. Getting out there thinking that he's all that. Do you, you know what blows my mind is when I seen this announcement, <laughs> I seen that because he had 55,000 viewers or something or subscribers was one of the reasons he was checked. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of other people out there that's got even more that are real nomadic people. And I can think of a couple that live in a van that would deserve it more than he would. At least they're abiding citizens. They are respectful of other people. They know boondocking etiquette. This guy dumped gasoline on a fire in the middle of Arizona while we're having thousands of acres burnt. You know what, guys? You know what you need to do? You need to get the word out. This guy doesn't deserve it. And not only that, he's the biggest e-begging liar I have ever met in my life. He says one thing on one video, turns around and says total opposite on another. It amazes me that he's got that many followers who believe in him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He dumped a girl in the middle of the desert. I think he only dated her. Let me just get down to this gossip. I think he only dated that girl because the rumor out there was that he was gay. Well, you know what my feeling is? If you're gay, be proud of it. Be proud of who you are. And don't drag some innocent person through the mud just to make your name look better in your own eyes. Because we know today's society, it's accepted. So why would you date a girl and ditch her in the middle of the desert after a week. You know what? He will use anybody and anything. The fact that he can sell a rig that will never, ever stop, <laughs> has to be fixed every 500 miles and walk away laughing, and you'll see it in that video, shows you what a snake he is. Just saying. Just saying. So anyway, yeah, that's how I feel about this, and it's really got me irked. And you know what, trolls? <laughs> I could give ten shits what you have to say to me. You're deleted, you're blocked, and you're reported. Just say it. So, that's my little rant for today. And you all know who I'm talking about, and that's another thing. Don't ask me to put a name out there. I'm a not stupid. Just say it. My viewers will put the name out there. Anyway, since I'm rambling on, I'm so irritated and pissed off about this, you guys, that they would pick the scum of the earth to represent the nomadic community blows my mind. It literally blows my mind. Anyway, have a good day. I had to put it out there. You guys know me. Just saying. Have a great day. Remember to love yourself. And not only that, send that person that you love a text. Tell them you're thinking about them.